participant login. 1. This is where the student or with the assistance of the teacher log in and complete the registration of their project. 2. They log in with the email they were invited with and the password they were sent in an email. 3. Make sure all information is complete and accurate. Participant Form 1. As you can see it shows what you have completed and have yet to finish before you can print out your permission form. 2. Remember to save it after you add or change any information. 3. You can change email, student's name etc. 4. Also you can add information here if there is a partner to the project. Pull down the arrow by the one and it changes to to add in information. Emergency contact. 1. All areas with a star must be completed. 2. Make sure this information is accurate. 3. Add as much information as you can and hit save. 4. Click on back to participant registration summary to continue. 5. A green bar will appear and tell you if you are complete. Project Information 1. In this area you are telling us and the judges about your project. It is their first impression of your project. It is very important. 2. Make sure you include everything you want to say. You only have 100 words to put in the description area. 3. Select your division carefully. It determines what awards you are allowed to choose from. 4. Save project information. Safety Check 1. Read the information carefully and remember that no electrical outlets will be provided and that your project is completely safe and that all necessary forms have been checked especially if the project involves any humans or animals. It needs prior approval. Double check your name. 1. In this area we want to make sure that your name and that of your partner if you have one is correct. 2. Look at it carefully. Signature page. 1. Once you have all green complete except the last one, now it is time to print the permission form. 2. If there are two of you for the project, print it out twice. You can send each of the forms in separately. Read the form over carefully and have the parents sign it. The student must also sign it or it is not valid. 3. Get these into the board office quickly so that you can choose your speciality awards based on your division.